What's up everybody? Welcome to Rotor Riot Workbench. I'm Let's Fly RC, and today I'm going to show you how to update the software on your DJI O3 video transmitter and camera package. The first thing you need to do is to download the software from the DJI website. The software you're looking for is the DJI Assistant 2 Consumer Drone Series. There are two different series of the DJI Assistant 2, the Consumer Drone Series and the FPV Series. You want to be sure to get the Consumer Drone Series for this update. Download the corresponding link depending on whether you're performing this on a Mac or a Windows PC. I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows. Download the .exe file, accept the warning, once the DJI Assistant 2 has completed downloading, I downloaded it from Chrome so I can click on the DJI Assistant EXE file right here to run it, but if you're using a different browser, locate the file and run the EXE file. Click Yes to allow it to make changes to your computer and click OK to select your language. Click I accept the agreement and hit Next. Pick a location on your hard drive to install the software and click Next. Just keep clicking Next through all of these options and then click Install. Now click finish to complete the installation of the software. You may have to give the DJI app access to your network. If this window pops up, click allow access. If you did all of the steps that I did, the DJI Assistant 2 should automatically run and there should be an icon on your desktop to where you can run it in the future by double clicking. Click agree to all the options and then click next. If you wanna join their improvement program, you can do that. I'm gonna click consider later. The DJI Assistant is now ready for us to plug in the video transmitter. Take a USB-C cable, Plug it into your computer and into the side of the DJI Air Unit like this. You should hear multiple noises as the system connects and disconnects from the device. You should see two hard drives pop up in File Explorer along with the DJI O3 Air Unit popping up in the Assistant. If you recorded video files to the internal storage of your DJI O3 Air Unit, you would download them from here. Double click on the internal storage and download the files that are inside. Mine is empty because I haven't recorded any files to my DJI Air Unit yet. The USB drive E is for your SD card, but it's much faster to remove the SD card and plug it into your computer than it is to try to download it through this cable. So if you recorded files to your SD card, I recommend removing the SD card from the Air Unit and plugging it directly into the computer to download the video files. It'll be much faster that way. To install the update, we need to click on the DJI O3 Air Unit. The first thing it's going to ask you to do is to activate the Air Unit. Click on Start Activation, and then click on Allow Access. If you already have a DJI account, enter your account information here, and then click Sign In. If you don't already have a DJI account, click Sign Up here, and follow the steps to create your own login and password. Then input your account, username, and password, and sign in. Once you're signed in, click Start Activation one more time. Once you see activation success, you can click complete and it'll show you the software that's currently on your device. At the top of the DJI Assistant, it will tell you your current version number. To update to the latest version, find the latest version at the top and click upgrade and then click start update. This takes a very long time, so be patient. The good news is that the new DJI O3 Air Unit won't overheat during this process because it doesn't have to be plugged into the battery while updating like the older DJI systems in the past. Past versions of the DJI system required that it be connected to the drone and powered up with a battery during this update process, but this new system does not require it to be connected to the drone at all. If your DJI Air Unit is already connected to the drone and you wish to do the update, you can follow the same procedure. Just don't connect the battery to the drone during the update process, and it will prevent it from overheating during the update. You may hear it disconnect and reconnect from Windows multiple times during the update process. This is normal. Once it says 100% update complete, you're all finished with the update and you can unplug the USB from the device. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'm Les Flair C and we'll see you next time on Rotary at Workbench.